right, here's the problem. This little, what is it, 14 foot trailer? And it had a divider right here in the center. So you can put stuff in the front and the back. Well, I need a place to keep my gear and my saddles and everything. So what I did is I moved that divider and I put it, I welded it back up in here. So I could put my saddles and my gear up front. Well, the problem is this door is too, too small. So when you try to carry a saddle in and you just gotta wrestle it and try to put it in there. And it's a pain in the butt. So this corner on these trailers, I mean, I haul two mules, you typically just one. So really this corner in this trailer is just, this is just a wasted space. It's just dead area anyway. And you know, most trailers nowadays are slant loads anyway. And that's what we'll make this into. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out, extend this door, take that divider and put it in a slant load right to here. And then that'll give me room to get in and out. And then we'll put some plywood or screw some plywood or something in there to, to isolate it, make it more waterproof and cleaner to keep all my gear. So there you go. this with a hammer so it'll match just lift right up here get some welds and there we got the material have the skills things over till tomorrow do next is I got to build a saddle rack in there enough to hold three saddles and then I'll probably put them against that back wall and stack them up so I have have them off the you know out of the way and they're just going up vertical and then I got to build some kind of shelves in there and put some more hooks in there and then the kicker is gonna be I'm gonna build I'm gonna I'm gonna put together a solar system for it with some batteries and a charge controller and an inverter. And that way I can keep my collars charged, my camera batteries charged, I can keep everything charged and I'll put a solar panel up on top and I'll be pretty self-contained. So the saddle rack will be the next project and the shelves and then the solar system. And it'll be like, like a wicked lion hunt outfit, houndsman outfit. Windy today. I guess if I bump my head enough times, I'll learn to duck. 
Not a lot of room, but enough room. That's it. So much easier. Before I was just like bumping and trying to turn it sideways and flip it in. It's much better. You know, for the longest time I was thinking I needed to buy a new trailer, a gooseneck trailer. Maybe a little longer. And you know, had a tack room in the front, maybe a small living quarters and stuff. But those are so hard to get in and out of the places I go to. This little trailer works just perfect, you know, and it was an expensive trailer. I don't worry about tearing it up. We put a new floor in it and everything. And and I read we're bombarded by buying new things and having to have something else before we can do what we you know what we dream about doing and and I read that happiness is being able to make do with what you got and I thought you know this little trailer's paid for I bought it brand new I think I only paid thirty eight hundred dollars for it forty three hundred something quite a few years ago and it if I fix it up right it'll serve my purpose you know I if I have to haul three animals or three mules, I, I can't do that. I'll be in trouble. But but for the most part, I'm just going to haul two anyway. And if I get to that point where I have to haul three, I, you know, then I'll buy another trailer of some sort. But for right now, for my purposes, for what I do, this thing's ideal. It, it, it gets my animals to where I need to go. So make do with what you got.